This time last year, we were at the start of the hockey season for the Utica Comets, but with many COVID restrictions still in place, they won't be playing any games. Eyewitness News reporter Jasmine Allen spoke with Oneida County about the financial impact this will have on the region and how they're trying to make up for some of that lost revenue. In a typical year, the Comets games would bring fans from across the region, and afterwards, they might even hit a nearby restaurant. In April, the American Hockey League canceled the rest of the 2019-2020 season due to the pandemic. Oneida County Executive Anthony Pacenti says this has caused a huge impact on the county's revenue. We're probably down all total, you know, I mean, in, in sales tax, probably in the, in the neighborhood of $4 million plus. A big chunk of that is, is attributed to entertainment. The decline in sales tax is, uh, you know, a decline in really activity. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, as of September, the country's unemployment rate is 7.9%. More people out of work means spending less and not going out as much. With many venues closed, including the Comets games, residents have even less options for activities. It's about everything that's, that's happening in downtown. It's the Stanley, you know, it's, it's the other restaurants that you know, feed off of all of the activities that go on. You know, the, the Comets generate, you know, uh, thousands in sales tax per night, uh, you know, and so you do the math and in the course of a year, and it's, it's hundreds of thousands uh, of dollars that, that benefit the city of Utica as well as the county. We asked how the county is trying to make up for some of the lost revenue. Continuing to try to help those businesses that are closed uh, to reestablish themselves and, and get open in, in, in phases and look at ways in which, you know, people can get back to work. For now, Pacenti says one way residents can help is by continuing to follow the COVID-19 guidelines so that we can overcome the pandemic and get back to a new normal. In Utica, Jasmine Allen, Eyewitness News. And we recently reached out to Pacenti's office to explain how exactly they're working toward helping small businesses, but they were unavailable for a comment.